Hormones play a critical role in our overall health, influencing everything from mood to metabolism, but did you know they also significantly impact your dental health? Let's talk. Hi everyone, my name is Whitney and I'm a registered dental hygienist here to talk about hormones. Because hormonal changes throughout life can not only mess with your teeth, but also your gums and your mouth tissues leading to various dental issues. So let's go over what you can do about it. Starting with puberty. The first wave of hormonal impact is the surge in estrogen and progesterone, which increases blood flow to the gums, making them more sensitive and prone to swelling and bleeding. This heightened sensitivity can lead to gingivitis, characterized by red, tender, and swollen gums that may bleed during brushing or flossing. Next up, the menstrual cycle, causing monthly fluctuations, hormonal changes during your period can lead to menstruation gingivitis, mouth sores, and increased teeth and gum sensitivity, which usually subsides after the period ends. Then, with pregnancy, there's also an elevated risk of dental issues. Increased levels of progesterone during pregnancy can make you more susceptible to bacterial plaque that causes gingivitis. It tends to happen most often between the second and eighth month of pregnancy, and it's called pregnancy gingivitis, which causes gums to become more swollen and bleed more easily. I've even seen pregnancy tumors or granulomas on some of my patients, which appear as shiny, red, raspberry-like bumps on the gums. And finally, menopause. A new set of challenges with menopause, with a significant hormonal shift, decreased estrogen levels tend to negatively impact oral health. Women may experience dry mouth, burning mouth syndrome, and even an increased risk of gum disease and cavities due to dry mouth during this stage. I have individual videos for menstruation, pregnancy, and menopause, so if you want to learn more details for one or more of these topics, I'll link them all below. But for the purpose of this video, it's important to know that you can combat dental issues from hormonal changes because it's not all nature. Nurture plays a huge role regarding dental health and hormones, meaning while hormonal changes can predispose individuals to oral health issues, your daily habits play a pivotal role in mitigating these effects. It's good Good news, you're not doomed if you have, say, gingivitis due to pregnancy or dry mouth due to menopause. Consistent oral hygiene is your best defense against hormone-induced dental problems. So always be sure to brush twice each day, use an anti-cavity toothpaste to strengthen enamel, and make sure you're brushing for the full two minutes each time. Floss and or clean between your teeth daily, remove plaque and food particles between teeth at least once each day, and never skip a day. Truly, just skipping one day can set you up for failure because oftentimes it only takes plaque 24 hours to harden and mineralize into tartar. So if that plaque is not disrupted with floss or something to clean between the teeth, that plaque will start to harden and form a worse bacteria known as tartar. Stay hydrated, drink lots of water. This is especially important during stages of dry mouth. I also have a whole dry mouth relief video, which I'll link below if you're struggling with dry mouth. Keep up with your regular dental checkups. This will help with early detection and management of potential issues. Don't wait until things get bad, get your mouth checked out routinely, even if you're not having problems. And lastly, maintain consistency in your oral care routine at home. This is so, 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 so crucial. Consistency and routine are of utmost importance. And technology can lend a helping hand with all the toothbrushing apps out there nowadays. I prefer Better Mouth since it offers personalized brushing guidance, making sure you're effectively cleaning your teeth and gums with features like the mouth score and streaks. You can track your oral hygiene habits and receive real-time feedback, making it easier to stay on top of your dental health, even when hormones are working against you. Better Mouth is in the app store. Highly recommend. It's what I use. And even if you don't use an app, consistent home care is key. Never skip a night of brushing or flossing to reduce the risk of developing dental issues, even during hormonal fluctuations. And before we go, a quick note about testosterone and men's oral health. Because men are not exempt from hormonal influences on dental health, some research indicates that men who experience a decrease in testosterone may be at a higher risk of developing developing osteoporosis, which can affect their jaw and supporting bone. In addition, low testosterone is also associated with chronic gum disease. However, more research is needed to clarify this connection, but it's still worth mentioning that some kind of connection is happening regarding your hormones and your dental health, whether you're a male or a female. In all, although some people experience more severe hormonal effects on their oral health than others, regardless of the intensity, remember, it's a combination of nature and nurture. While you can't control hormonal changes, 
you can control how you care for your teeth in response. So make it a point to stay on top of your teeth at home throughout all stages of life. And if you're interested in creating a consistent oral hygiene routine for your individual mouth, make sure to click the link in the description below or in the pinned comment to sign up for my free oral care guide and discover all of the essentials for an effective oral hygiene routine. This guide is an action plan for creating a healthier smile by confirming that you're using proper technique when brushing, flossing, tongue scraping, and more. I always tell my patients that it's great if you've been staying on routine with everything, never skipping days of brushing or flossing, but it's not great if you're doing it wrong. If you're flossing incorrectly or using the incorrect motions with your manual or electric toothbrush, that's no good. So check out my free oral care guide below if you'd like to learn more. And I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe and turn on your notifications if it did. And if you want even more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com and hang out with me on Instagram at teethtalkgirl. Peace, love, and teeth.